Hey there, Cards fans. Welcome back to Cardinal Craze. I'm your host, Alucard. Today on the show, we have Ashton Gelati. Ashton, how you doing? Pretty good, sir. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. No, we always enjoy having Louisville recruits on the show and commits. So how are you doing down there in Florida? Um, we're doing pretty good. We're, try like, we're trying to get back in the swing of things, hopefully trying to get to practicing because my home state is already working out again, which is Ohio. And uh, so we're kind of getting behind the curve. We have a couple schools down here that are working against protocol, but what, you, what can you do? So we're just uh, training, trying to get the team together in non-official practices. Uh, so are, now, Daniel, you said Ohio, right? Yes, sir. Oh, so you're up in Ohio. I thought you were down in Florida. Oh, I'm in Florida, but my oh, home you, state. Oh, I'm your home? Ohio. Okay. I was born in Cincinnati, and my whole family comes from Ohio, basically. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. uh, so has your family been doing good down there in Florida, staying, you know, six feet apart from people, wearing masks, just dealing with the pandemic? In, well, in Florida, it's just, it's just me and my mom and my dad. My oh, okay. Right. Um, we've been doing pretty good. My dad's a cop, so he has to kind of deal with the riots a little bit. Yeah. So Just try to keep it peaceful. Yeah, and of course. Sorry, that's my mom walking in. <laughs> no, that's all right. Hi there. Hi. So one of the things was I wanted to talk about the coaches that recruited you. Now, off camera, you told me that Mark Ivey and Coach Dennison actually were the ones recruiting you to Louisville. So the Cards fans are uh, not very familiar with the personality of Court Dennison and uh, Mark Ivey. Is there anything you can tell us specifically about those two coaches that, you know, maybe something personal that, you know, a lot of Cards fans may not know? Coach Ivy really likes fishing. He likes being out on the lake, which is uh, something that I think is pretty cool, um, especially because that opens it up for, like, team bonding. You can go on the lake and stuff, just uh, mess around. But he's really into fishing. He's actually really laid back. And he used to have hair like mine, like really long hair, really long hair, but, yeah. like, straight, obviously. But... <laughs> Now, has Mark Ivey been down to your house or uh, even uh, Court Dennison been down to visit you and your family? Um, no, sadly not. Um, due to quarantine, yeah, yeah. travel really hasn't allowed them to come down here at all. Really. Okay. So well. most, of, most of my interactions with them have been over like Zoom calls, um, phone calls, texts, stuff like that. Now, how do you feel that you fit in with their defensive style? Um, a lot of, lot of rushing. They, um, they like me as a speed rush kind of guy. Um, basically start off as like a third down and then, <laughs> and then implement me into more downs. But uh, a lot of, I like sacking quarterbacks and that's one of the things that I guess they recognized in me is I'm pretty good at pass rush. And I know. Um, yeah, so I just like I like hitting quarterbacks. They like, they like, they're bringing in a whole class centering around being fast, being strong. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm glad you're looking forward to it. So, what's your relation like with the other commits? Is there anyone in particular who you would say that you've already bonded with? Um, I would say RJ, if anything, because he's already in my area. Yeah. Um, he and I were planning to go paddleboarding. I think at some point, I couldn't tell you. But we all talk. We all play like Xbox, Warzone. We just we hop on at games and do crossplay. It's not really. Um... So one of the things I wanted to ask: Who actually dominates on crossplay? Is there one uh, specific teammate who's just baller and just out there just kicking everybody's butt? I I couldn't tell you, but um, <laughs> I had a I think it was Perry. I had an experience with. Um, Perry kept dying. He got he got he got, he got me a little sad. He kept, like, so in Warzone, every time he kept dropping away from me, like, hey, yo, man, next time, land next to me. He'd drop on a different building, he died. I'm sitting there like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> so um, I guess I can tell you, like, the person I've had the least experience with, but to me right now, until he proves otherwise. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not the not the tank for the team. <laughs> now, you, <I'm> now, not... <laughs> now, now, you kind of broke up there for a second. You said the tank of the team? Tank, he's not really the tank for the team. He's not like carrying it. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, not this. 
Make sure you do it. Hey, no, no, he's, 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 video, definitely, he's definitely going to hit me up on Snapchat. And he's going to be like, yo, man, I heard you talking trash. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So one of the things that we've been able to kind of learn, and uh, I just kind of want to comment beforehand on the whole tank situation. I mean, that's unfortunate. You know, some people are just not good at playing, but you know, that's, I mean, that, you know, that, that, that's how it is. So for the most part, we, uh, we've kind of found out through interviewing you all that the coaches want you to reach out to different players, uh, well, different recruits and try and convince them to come to Louisville. Has that been difficult for you? Um. Not really, actually. I had one of them call me. So, um, no, it's – we reach out to them. It's mm -hmm. not that hard. You just talk to them as if they're anyone else, basically. And yeah. you, you kind of just tell them what you feel about the program, um, mm -hmm. what you see about what we have going on in our class coming in. And, yeah, it's like, it's like being able to pick your own team. It's like, like – basically like school, like – School sports, yeah. like old school pick 'em type deal. So, and you guys so. all have. <laughs> That's all right. So, one of the things I wanted to ask was who's that person called you specifically in reaching out? Um, I call him. Like, you guys are gonna like, I mean, like uh, how Vic Tong said, you know, you guys are gonna, you know, break the internet essentially just you know having all these different people committing immediately all right so we're going to get back into it so i wanted to ask what's it been like moving from ohio down to florida was it a hard transition for you <laughs> not really it happened really early in my life so um i don't know kind of kind of a florida baby it's used to the heat now not so much the cold but I still, I can still go up there, 30, 40, 20s, maybe 10, so. Yeah. So, so for the most part, you can still grab, go, go back up there and you'd still be able to, you know, uh, retransition back into your home state. Yeah. So let me ask you, coming to Louisville, was that kind of a, uh, was that a thrill when you got the offer? Uh, yeah, actually. I was actually like, I almost almost had like an instant gut feeling. I, I don't know. I just had a pull towards the school. Um, the location being so close to where most of my family is, it makes it really, I don't know, easy, like a nice fit. Basically yeah. like, even if like, let's say I like something happens with my family, I'm next to them, like, I can always go say hi or they can come yeah. see me. Yeah. It makes them coming out the games a lot easier. So. Oh, yeah, most definitely. So what would you think of Lamar Jackson being on the front cover of 2021? I know they just dropped that trailer today. Now, yeah. do you feel like uh, that's going to be a good incentive to a lot of the recruits, you know, showing that the MVP of the NFL played at Louisville? Oh, yeah. Actually, a lot of kids in my area are, like, interested in Louisville just because of Lamar Jackson. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm praying he breaks the, the Madden curse. I, I don't want to see anything fall bad upon that man. That man is good. So, oh yeah, no, he he's amazing. Honestly, part, part of my fan, my dad's a Ravens fan, so I got part of that on my side. Well, there so. you go. Are are you hoping that maybe he'll come to one of the games and you'll get to see him? Yeah, would he talk to me? Probably not. Considering on defense, there like there's not usually a lot of cross mingling. Well, so. there was, uh, I mean, there was a cross mingling between uh, Jair Alexander and uh, Lamar Jackson. I mean, they were good buds, you know. So, I mean, who's to say that, you know, maybe the next, you know, uh, big NFL star might be you and you might be friends with someone on the O-line? I mean, well, that's the thing. O-line, I'm working against them. Quarterback, I'm sacking him. Like, <laughs> it's, it's a different thing. Like, I can guarantee you he doesn't like people who would hit him in practice. He probably likes competition, yeah. but he doesn't like well, I'm sure yeah. if you help him up, then that'll be a complete different situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, for the most part, who would you say was your biggest influencer as a kid? Was it your father? Was it your mom? Uh, was there someone in your family specifically that influenced you a lot? Um, I, guess I'm a, I would say my mom. Um, she, was, she was my coach, along with my dad, for a long part of my life. Um, and... 
I don't know. She's kind of stuck her neck out and uh, done a lot, basically, to make sure I could be the best I can be. So. Yeah, of course. Now, uh, you probably just earned a bunch of brownie points, seeing as how she's in the room, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> I looked at her. I was like, I was like, if I say it, she's going to think it's like, like, come on, Ashley. Well, I mean, at least you didn't say someone else's name or. Oh, if I said <laughs> That's a setup. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, what jersey number do you want to go after or have the coaches promised you a specific number for defense? I would like to keep my high school number, but the likelihood, considering, again, I am DN, of getting number nine is high and, like, probably not going to happen. So, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll take a number. It really is more about, like, how you – play or represent a number because you can take a number and turn it into something that's a mainstay like yeah no of course i mean look at jair alexander he switched numbers uh i think two times throughout his college career yeah (laughs) one of the things i like to do on this show is you know get to be uh more interpersonal and understand you a little bit better and uh there is something i do want to ask i know this is kind of an old question but uh, well, not, not really old, but an old topic. Since you're down in Florida, do you think Carol Baskin killed her husband? <laughs> we haven't even watched that. Oh well, no, I think Carol. I think she did it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But you haven't seen the show. She did it. Oh, okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> my my friends just looking at me on the couch like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, for the most part, what would you say is your favorite Netflix show? Um, actually, it's going to sound weird because it's something not from my time, but I would say um, community. community. Community, okay. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't know. Something about the show kind of stuck with me. Um, it has a good, like, just a really good writing, like, mm-hmm. with, like, really good cast. I don't know. No, you don't need to, they don't need to know that. That's fine. I know, but the guy who makes your your the cartoon that you like, he also made that. That's true. Okay, well, yeah. No, no, that's that's the guy. Who, so that's they have the guy who made Rick and Morty on it. Oh, okay. He, so he, he, he's the writer for it. Yeah. So. Okay. So, so all right. So say so you're a big Rick and Morty fan, eh? Rick and Morty. Anime. Some sort of anime, yeah. Some sort of anime. I don't want to come come across as an otaku on the show. That's okay. It's understandable. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a weed, you know what I'm saying? You're not a weed. <laughs> I mean, I, I I like it, but I wouldn't say I'm like throw like a full bread. But well, I mean, <laughs> as long as you don't Naruto run your way across practice, you know, then you should be fine. Nah, I, <laughs> I got you. Hey, also, Naruto running is not even like the best form of running. Like they tested it, <laughs> it, it doesn't help you move faster, <laughs> Gavin. Yeah, that's what I thought, <laughs> but. Well, yeah, no. I, I did. I did not know that uh, that that was that was even tested. But uh, you know, I, I'm sure. <laughs> I, you know, I'm sure someone out there is going to agree with you 100 percent on that. Yeah. Uh, one thing I like to do on the show is we like to appease the console gods, and we. Uh, and now you kind of told me a little bit earlier, but uh, are you a PlayStation player or an Xbox player? Um. So here's the thing: we have a two console household. I'm, not, I'm never. I'm never on PC. I don't have the time to go out and build my own computer do all that stuff so i've never been a pc man yeah. but we do playstation was like my first at console now i got xbox so at my dad's house i play playstation and xbox and at my house i only have an xbox mm-hmm. so i mean but i play i play xbox like more okay so if it came down to it and you had to choose between saving your friend or saving the uh the PlayStation, you would go for your friend. Okay, that's yeah, definitely. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, what? Yeah, you want me to kill you? Like, it's not happening. No. Well, for the most, well, for the most part, it looks like uh, Xbox has won. You know, we rarely get that Xbox win. But uh, you know, I'm gay. Uh, what's your favorite game on Xbox, by the way? That's like again. That's like you could say a lot of games. I play 2K, I play Overwatch, I play Rocket League, I play Rainbow Six. Like, I go through genres. Like, I. No, it's understandable. Really yeah. favorite. I'm looking forward to Halo Infinite, though. That's like okay. the one game that I'm 
win for it. That's the only reason like I keep Xbox. Basically, I like Halo. Well, I that's under- it. Well, that's understandable. You know, I'd play, uh, I'd play Halo too, but unfortunately it's an Xbox exclusive. So uh, I'm just over here on PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny. You know, everyone's just like, oh, you should play, you know, um, <laughs> you know, you should play Halo and all that. I'm like, I would, but they try to be exclusive. So I don't really care. I mean, you get, you get Spider-Man. You get all the Spider-Man games. Yeah, Those are but I, I mean, a guy in tights flying around a city. I mean, that that's not. I mean, fighting in a war zone. That's so much better. I'm just saying. Disrespect Spider-Man like that. I see how it is. <laughs> I'm just saying that. That's just me personally. Other fans, I don't know. See, I was more of a Thor fan because I don't know. I mean, I can see that. yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> it, it, like especially like in the movie when when the, he got really fat and depressed. No, not then. <laughs> My mom's a big <laughs> Chris Hemsworth person. Oh, she is. Okay, so she didn't yeah. like when he got all depressed and, and just no, no. Oh, no. you too. Well. No, she she much prefers the ab ripped version. Yes. Kevin, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I hope that doesn't make you feel awkward. Uh, <laughs> No, we go to the we go to all the Marvel and DC games on the opening night and so if you're, you can see me. No. She does it in theaters too. It's, <laughs> it's, I'm used to it. Well, well hey, you, you know, now you got the benefit. The movie theaters aren't even open. They uh they get to But now she, now she gets to watch Chris Hemsworth movies at home. <laughs> like extraction. Subtle plug. I just plugged it on accident. Well, but, uh, I mean, you know, if you want to just get her a VR headset, just put in the movie and then just put her in a different room, you know. Go in your office. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have a great day. But, I'll be here perfecting my Jedi mind. My Alexa started talking. Oh, uh, it's a good thing to know the government's listening right now. All right. Going to be Insta famous. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> Has your school talked to you about going back yet, or is there still a uh, big restriction down in Florida? I'm not too familiar with what's going on down there. Uh, I mentioned it before, but um, we're not a, we're not allowed to like go to school really at all. Oh, okay. it, as of now, we're suspended, but like um, they have a plan for us to go to school twice a week, and the rest is online, which I personally don't like. I don't like online classes. I like hands-on kind of things. Mm-hmm. Well, I know I'm getting to it, um, but and then practicing, I, we go back to Gavin. Yeah, we go back to July 27th, right? July 26th. 26th July 26th, which is mm-hmm. kind of late. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, so, do you have plans on graduating early and uh, enrolling in Louisville in the uh, spring? Yeah, I'm. I already like set up. I'm on track <laughs> to do an early enrollment. So you already enrolled. You're yeah. already enrolled in Louisville for spring. I'm already enrolled for spring football. At oh, nice. Football, so. so is there anything you can tell us about Court Dennison? Uh, kind of like how Mark Ivey, you said that he used to have long flowing locks of hair and now he doesn't anymore. Uh, is there anything kind of interesting or unique or weird or something that, you know, you've kind of noticed about Court Dennison? Is he very serious? Um, well, I mean, he's, well, I, we can start with basic facts, which is, he's from, he's from Park City, right? Mm-hmm. Um, he's golfs a lot, but also, he doesn't, he doesn't let me know too much, so I can't hold anything against him. Okay. So I don't have anything, like, super, like, like Ivy, like, I don't have anything that I could pull up like that. Yeah. No, nah, he's, he seems like a good, he seems like a good guy, actually. Um, well. Well, whenever he gets a Louisville, just get some dirt on him, and then we'll talk again and have another show. I got you. <laughs> All right. So, uh, by the way, did you see Zen while he was down in Florida? Um, no. No, he went to some remote beach to have kind of a workout situation with some of his friends for, uh, I think, the weekend or maybe a week. I'm not sure what his uh, time frame was. I didn't know if he was going to meet up with some of you guys and actually see each other face to face instead of uh, waiting until the actual, you know, uh, spring to officially meet. <laughs> yeah. No, you guys are going all up for official visit in summer. We're all going to an official visit together. So that's basically, I think that's going to be the time where most of us meet each other face to face. But besides that, yeah, no. I, I don't know where in the state he was, but 
I don't think it was close to me. Well, um, they, well, then they just hit him up and ask him why the heck he didn't come visit you. And, you why know, didn't probably, you fight? <laughs> uh, he'll probably apologize profusely. He's a nice guy. All yeah. right. Well, uh, for the most part, Ashton, uh, I appreciate you coming out on the show and telling us a little bit about yourself and allowing us to get to know you. Uh, personally, you know, we've actually been hearing that you're kind of a dark horse when it comes to all the recruits. And that kind of specific meaning is, you know, that you're you're actually a lot better than what people have evaluated you as. I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I guess I'll let work show for it when I get up there, but I don't, I don't need stars to be something. I don't need. He won. He won the Palm Beach no. Post Award. That's not the thing. I know. Stop. You didn't say that. My mom brags for me. That's I, part of the reason I don't talk about it. I don't. I don't feel it necessary. Okay. Like, I I don't need fame necessarily. I just like football. I, like I love football, but. Mm -hmm. Well, one of my, my co-hosts, uh, Trace on Cards Hive, he's actually a really big fan of yours. He actually thinks that you were one of the best recruits that have uh, already committed. And uh, honestly, he is uh, very excited to see you play this coming uh, season for your senior year, uh, if some highlights come out or, you know, if it's televised at some point. But for the most part, you know, I'm starting to become a bigger fan of yours, uh, even though you play Xbox. So, you know, I won't hold that against you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, for the most part, Ashton, I appreciate you coming out on the show. And tell your mom thanks for coming out on the show as well. Uh, really. Hi. Uh, all right. Well, anyways, for the most part, I hope you have a good rest of your day and stay safe and uh, tell your dad that thank you for his service. And for the most part, uh, we'll talk to you later, okay? Uh, All okay. right. Go Cards. Thank you for having me, sir. My bad. No, you're good. Have a good day. You too. Bye.